So we're still working on our anatomy, physiology. So today we're putting together some body systems. We have two sets. One set is <laughs> one set is labeled, um, and the other set is not. But that's okay. Yep, that's your intestine. It's part of your digestion <laughs> digestive system. We're having a meltdown. That's the that's the perch. Your stomach would be above your intestines. Because food goes down through your stomach and then into your intestines. Okay. Yeah, that is where your heart goes, in your lungs, or in between your lungs, not in your lungs. That'd be awkward, too. That's your heart. Kind of. Your bladder's kind of up. It kind of overlaps. Well, sort of. <laughs> Kind of up by your liver. Because right your gallbladder produces bile and kind of filters with your liver and your pancreas. All of that's kind of all together. What are those supposed to be? Are those your sinuses? They go up in your head. Kind of. <laughs> your kidneys don't go up in your lungs, guys. Your kidneys are up in your back, and then they connect to your bladder. <laughs> Down. They would be technically behind your intestines because they're in your back. Did you guys know that you can live with only one kidney? And your liver will regrow. So if you... So, so if you... You can donate your liver, only half of it. And then it'll grow back. So see, we've been doing some practice. You've also lost your... Oh no. Apparently the bones are broken because someone chopped him into a corner. Like he was dead. This guy has no neck. Oh well. Okay, so let's put the try and put the systems on the skeleton. So now the systems are a little bit bigger than our skeletons. But um They'll just kind of condense. It's all good. So probably that long tube above the 
stomach is part of your esophagus. No, on the stomach. Look at the stomach. The stomach. Yes. So, so yeah, it's probably part of your throat. That's why the tube is so long. Well, his tube, it goes, like, up past his mouth. He's like... It doesn't need to go up past his mouth. Just move it down a little bit. A lot of your organs overlap. Like, inside your body, all of your organs are kind of hugging each other. Hugs Mom. save lives, guys. Are the rest of you going to get in on this, or are we just doing a one-man show here? Those are sinuses. So you have sinus cavities in mostly your head. So some of it goes, like you have sinuses here and notice, here. But he has small headitis. But he's really smart. His brain doesn't even fit in his skull. You can live without Mine doesn't either. either. Well, considering that one part is your brain stem and that's kind of a top view of your brain. Uh, I think that one would fit in your head. True story, when Philip was a baby, they used to measure his head, like, twice every time because they'd be like, no, that can't be right. And then they'd measure it again. And then ask me if anybody had trouble buying hats in our family. <coughs> So, if there was any wonder, Philip has a big head. <laughs> my, my hand cannot go all the way around my wrist. Oh. Uh, it might pass to the butt. Yikes. Well, um, that, guy has some... that guy's bladder is falling out of his body. That's like a serious medical condition. This guy needs to see a doctor. My kids are not a substitute for medical attention. Remind me, guy. Remind me to uh, never trust you guys with the uh, Frankensteining me back together. It's it's not going to end well. Okay, <laughs> so what parts would be part of your digestive system? What's your digestive system help you do? Yeah. Well, and get nutrients to the rest of your body, right? So, eating is part of your digestion. So, your tongue is part of your digestion system. It's in his mouth. It's behind his teeth. You want to hear something metal? When people say that you actually lost your appetite. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, when you lose a tooth, your bones are literally falling out of your body. Ooh, I've already lost. I lost two bones. You guys are freaky. I've lost two. So are you. I've lost 28. Teeth are disgusting. That's, are. that's mom's input on it. Teeth you are disgusting. I lost a tooth and I had a tooth with root on it. It's yeah, that's bad. gross. I, I had a tooth with no roots. Maybe these are five-year-old pieces. I don't know. They said life-size. That's why I printed them off for you guys. They're probably big. Well, this is how they're braided. I don't think your brain is like. Okay, what's the heart do? Apparently, they don't know how big your brain is. So, your heart helps pump blood away from the heart that has oxygen in it, and then it goes back to the heart. It Yeah, pretty much. I don't think your heart's that small. It does, it does snuggle in between your lungs. Oh, it must be very cold. It's the size of our fist. 
Yeah. Yeah. Your heart grows as you get bigger, a little bit, anyways. Because it's the size of my fist. That's a decent sized heart there. Not for a long time. It's not going to end well. She doesn't know where those things go. Philip, you're not going to function properly. Um, neither am I. It's a trachea. Okay. Yeah, well, too bad he hasn't been breathing for the last while since he doesn't have any wind pipe. No. Okay, those have big brain. Good thing your brain is so big it can control the systems without being in the right place. What? I don't think that's where your pancreas goes. It's her foot. I, I really don't think that's where your pancreas goes. So your liver, your pancreas, your gallbladder, all of those things are kind of tucked in together. <laughs> and your your kidneys are on the back side. <laughs> well, thanks for doing science with us today. I hope you've learned something educational. Maybe we need to revisit this as a family. <laughs> so we just finished our lessons. And this is what my kids do. You're welcome. And this is what the room still looks like. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm being told, you're welcome. Um, somehow I'm not grateful for this mess. <laughs> it's all right. It will get done. That's okay. There, it's cold. So they're cuddling, and they're still sick, so they're snuggled together. Um, yeah, I don't know what got shared at church, but I'm over it already. People don't know how to stay home when they're sick. No one knows I'm how to not sick. I take care of their kids. Well, stay oh, home when it's short, mm -hmm. instead of not going. <laughs> Obviously, my children are opinionated. Hey! Niceness. Be nice. We, uh, that turned into kind of a movie, video game, entertainment, whatever room. We don't have internet. <laughs> so, uh, so, so, this is our school disaster. Yeah, every single day. All day, every day. That's how we know they're learning. The mess, right?